We are cheering on the Sam Houston Bearcats today as they go for their first ever national title. Before you watch the big game here on ABC 13, we wanted to share some of the incredible history of the university and the city of Huntsville itself. ABC 13 anchor Emeritus Dave Ward grew up in Huntsville and takes us back there. You know you've reached Huntsville when you drive by the colossal Sam Houston statue along I-45. But did you know Huntsville wasn't just home to one of Texas' greatest heroes? It was once nicknamed the Mount Vernon of Texas, considered to be the state's leading cultural center before the Civil War. Huntsville was even in the running to become the state capital. In 1849, people of Huntsville petitioned the state and offered this site as the site for the state capitol, and of course, Austin won that election. Instead, Huntsville built one of the state's first colleges where the capitol building would have been. Austin College was dedicated in 1851, with then Senator Sam Houston in attendance. Sam Houston served on the first board of Austin College, and that was a significant thing for the success of that school. The first law school in Texas was established here at Austin College. They awarded the first law degrees in Texas. The college was just up the hill from Sam Houston's own home in Huntsville, now the site of the Sam Houston Memorial Museum, also just a few blocks away from the house where I grew up in Huntsville during the 1940s. We have this room set up as the Houston's uh, bedroom. In the main museum itself, we tell the story of Sam Houston basically from cradle to grave. You can't look at the history of Texas without looking at the history of Houston because the two are intertwined. Houston first settled in Huntsville after serving as president of the Republic of Texas. You stroll through the museum's rotunda and you'll travel back to the Texas Revolution when General Houston led the Texas Army to victory at the Battle of San Jacinto. Museum visitors can walk through the law office he once used and his two homes Houston's family remained in Huntsville when he became a U.S. Senator and later Governor of the state of Texas. But when Texas decided to secede from the Union, Houston was forced out of office. He refuses to sign the Oath of Allegiance to the Confederacy at the beginning of the Civil War. He very well predicted what the outcome of the Civil War was going to be for the South, that it would, it would devastate the South. Sam Houston returned to Huntsville, where he died of pneumonia at the height of the Civil War. After the Civil War ended, Sam Houston's beloved Huntsville continued to thrive, although Austin College suffered financially during the war and moved to another city. The building it was housed in became the first ever teacher training school in the southwestern United States. Sam Houston Normal Institute opened in 1879. In the 1920s, it was called Sam Houston State Teachers College. Uh, then it became Sam Houston College, and now it's Sam Houston State University. Today, the university enrolls over 22,000 students with several nationally recognized programs, including one of the oldest and largest criminal justice programs in the nation. Its 130-year history of leadership and innovation goes all the way back to the school's namesake. I think uh, most of us Texans recognize the qualities of Sam Houston and uh, his character, and uh, we hope our students, as they get a good education here, that they will emulate and take some of those qualities with them. For ABC 13, I'm Dave Ward. Well, you can watch the Sam Houston State game here on ABC 13 at 1 p.m., they're taking on the South Dakota State Jackrabbits. You can also stream it on your favorite device using the free ABC Network app.